Hello, what's up? Welcome back to our corner and this is Ali. On this video, we'll share how we can upgrade our storage using an extended hard drive. We'll show you how we can format, use, and take advantage of this method. We'll also provide some workarounds or fix for some issues that you may encounter when using one. Now let us go ahead on the video and upgrade our hard drive. To use an extended hard drive, go to the settings, then devices, and USB storage device. If you have an external hard drive plugged into your PS4, it will be detected here. Now there is a requirements for you to be able to use an extended hard drive. First, it has to be minimum of 250 gig and must be a USB 3.0. Any hard drive, as long as it meets that requirements, you can use that as your extended hard drive. But keep in mind that if you format a hard drive as an extended hard drive, you can no longer use that hard drive except on the PS4. Meaning if you are using that hard drive to store some movies or any documents, everything will be wiped out and you won't be able to access that on any computer or on any device except on the PS4. Now to format, just select the hard drive. Format as extended storage. Next. Then format. You will get this notification that the selected hard drive will be formatted. Just go ahead and press yes to continue. Now you will get this message once the format has been completed. Now if ever you are getting an error when formatting a hard drive, that can only mean two things. It may not meet the minimum requirements or the hard drive itself is defective. Now let me go ahead and try to format a hard drive that does not meet the minimum requirements. So this will happen if you try to format a hard drive that does not meet the minimum requirements. Now if you have the idea that the hard drive met the requirements but you are getting this message, that simply means that your hard drive has a fake storage. Because as long as it meets the minimum requirements, your PS4 should be able to format that as your extended hard drive regardless of the model. So if you are getting any errors here, that simply means that you cannot use that hard drive as an extended storage. Now once we have our extended storage, how can we install, move, or transfer games to our extended storage? First, let us go to the storage. And here we can find the information for our system storage and the extended hard drive. By the way, you can only use one extended hard drive at a time. So if you want to switch an extended hard drive, you will have to safely remove the current extended hard drive and replace it with a different one. Now let me go ahead and show you how we can move games to our extended hard drive. First, go to our storage where the game is installed. Then application. Now let's say for example, we want to move our game Dragon Ball Z Fighters. So just press option. Then move to extended storage. Select the game. Then move. Now after the transfer, you can find the information on the extended hard drive. Now to delete the game in the extended hard drive, you can simply do that like your regular game. Just highlight the game, then delete. But of course, we're not going to do that. Now to install the game directly to our extended hard drive, make sure that the application install location is on the extended hard drive. By default, if you have an extended hard drive, it will be selected automatically. But if you want to manually select your install location, just press option, then application install location. You can choose either system storage or extended hard drive. So every time your extended hard drive is plugged in and you install the game, it will be installed directly to your extended hard drive. Now let us go ahead and install a game. After installing, let's go to the storage. Extended storage. Here you will see that our newly installed game is in our extended storage. Now to play the game, you don't have to do anything as long as your extended storage is plugged in. Now 
But if you see this exclamation icon at the bottom of uh, the image, that means that the PS4 could not detect the extended storage where the game is installed. So if you play this, you will get this message. Now all you have to do is simply insert the extended hard drive. The icon on the top right of your screen indicates that the PS4 is trying to detect the hard drive or the extended hard drive. Now once it detects our extended hard drive, you can go ahead and play your games. Now one of the good things with the extended hard drive is that you can use this with the multiple jailbroken PS4. You can just simply remove the extended hard drive, insert it to a different jailbroken PS4, and play the game without doing anything. You can also update games in your extended hard drive just like how you update your games installed in your PS4. Now here are the things that we need to consider when using an extended hard drive. We cannot just casually remove the hard drive without safely removing it. To safely remove the extended hard drive, press and hold the PS button, go to the sound and devices, then stop using extended storage. Once you do that, you can safely remove the extended hard drive and use it on a different PS4 or store your extended hard drive. If you casually remove the extended hard drive, it can corrupt the hard drive so you will lose all of the games in that extended hard drive. Also, you can't use a hard drive that is already has a low health. If you notice your games load so much slower than usual, then the hard drive must have a low health. When using an extended hard drive, it is highly advisable to use a hard drive that is in perfect condition. So let's say for example, all of a sudden, you see a cross icon at the bottom of the uh, game image. That means that the game itself has been corrupted. When that happens, all you can do is just simply reinstall the game. So is it risky to use an extended hard drive? To be honest, this is the easiest way to extend the storage of your PS4. Though there are some risks, but the risk is very low. All you have to do is just avoid the casually removing the hard drive without going through the safety removal. Though there is a method to use an external hard drive to play the games using the app to USB, but using an app to USB takes more time than just simply using an extended hard drive. Now let us go back to our system storage. When using an extended hard drive, you will notice that at the bottom, there is the category Other. The more games you install in your extended hard drive, the more space this Other occupies. Because even if you are using an extended hard drive to load your games, a partial of its size is still installed in your internal hard drive. So in case you are wondering where is this um, space coming from, that is from your extended hard drive. But you don't have to worry, it takes a very little space on your PS4. So this will be it for now. If you have any questions or suggestions, you may go ahead and share them on our comment section and I will definitely address them. And again, my name is Ali. If you find this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe and I will definitely see you on our next video. Bye-bye.